is Fajera and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you that don't know, um, I'm non-binary and I use they, them pronouns. If you don't know what non-binary means, Google is free. If you have any questions about that, like, and Google doesn't answer your questions, I'd be happy to leave my experience in the comments. Just ask your questions, ask away. But anyway, so today I am going to be getting a haircut. It's about that time. Don't mind this, this is a fashion channel. I'm going through it, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, I'm really excited about going to get my hair cut today and getting that negative energy removed. The split ends in my hair are the negative energy. They have to go. So I, they want me to come with dry hair, like styled the way I normally style it. So I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna style it and I'll be right back. This is my hair with deep conditioner in it. Uh, I'm, I'm using the Cream of Nature Pure Honey uh, Moisture Replenish and Strength Hair Mask. It looks like this. It has pure honey, rich coconut oil, and creamy shea butter. And there's no sulfates or mineral oil. I really like this because it smells really good. Um, and it also makes my hair feel really soft and really smooth. So I'm going to leave this in for about five more minutes and then I'm going to get to styling my hair. Here's a random clip of what my hair looks like when it's dry. Um, the clip that I took, it just didn't look good. So here you go. Okay, everyone. So it's now been like several hours. I think the last time you guys saw me, it was like maybe one o'clock and it's now eight o'clock. <laughs> This is the hair. Um, I like the hair, but let me tell you about what the fuck happened today, okay? So, early this morning, I was dealing with my woes, okay? I was dealing with my woes, and I didn't go to sleep until maybe two, three in the morning because I was chasing that serotonin on fucking TikTok, okay? That's what the fuck happened this morning. <laughs> and then at eight o'clock, I was like, fuck, I have to get up and go feed my friend's cat, which is fine. like. I love that cat. So um, I'm, I'm cat sitting right now. So I went to go feed my friend's cat, hung out with the cat, had a great time. Then after that, I, I felt a little bit better, just a little bit better. But then I had to rush. When I was going to get my hair done, they are requiring that you come with your hair, like basically pre-styled. So I had to wash, dry, like my hair, wash, style and dry it this morning and I only had like an hour to do that. And for those of you with curly hair, you know, it takes fucking time. It takes time. But I realized I, I didn't have, I was gonna have time to, I wasn't gonna have time to pick up food or like eat something. So I had to run to get something to eat. And then when I realized, like after I had gotten food, I was like, fuck, I don't even have money. <laughs> I left my money at my friend's house. Luckily, I used my Apple Pay and it was fine, but I had to go get that because my license, everything else was in there. So I had to go back there, wasted more time. And then by the time I got back to the house, it was like 1030, which was like fine. I had like an hour and a half, but I wanted to take the bus because it's Chicago and I didn't want to have to deal with parking. I got back. I, you know, I was ripping my hands through my hair because it had been in a bun for a couple of days, like... For those of you that know, like that constant brushing movement, it just kind of creates like matting right here a little bit. So anyway, I mean, I was as gentle as I could be, but I was like, bitch, you're gonna get your hair cut. Who really gives a fuck if the ends are a little ripped up? You're gonna get it cut off anyway, you know? After I, I plopped my hair, I styled my hair, which by the way, so when I styled my hair, I start off with make sure my hair, I, I go in sections, but I make sure that my hair is super, super wet. <laughs> and I used Olaplex number no. six, uh, the bond smoother. Uh, it's like a base for my style products. And I make sure that that penetrates my hair um, and gets, it's basically like rebuilding those bonds in my hair, right? Then I use, this is almost out, but I use the Breakup Breakage Leave-In Conditioner by Cream of Nature Pure Honey. Love the way this smells. Has me smelling like coconuts and shit. Just, I, it has me smelling sweet. And then after I use that, I use this, the curl activator to the, it's the same line, but it's the curl activator. And I like this because it's kind of like, um, like a gel that holds the products in place. But I've noticed a lot of gels, they tend to, they create those little like white, like balls. Like basically the, the product separates and I don't like that shit. So this goes well with, with this. They smell absolutely amazing and it also moisturizes your moisturizes your hair. While I waited for my hair to like 
you know, be soaked up in the, the shirt that I used. I ate my food, took the plop off, blow dried my hair, and then I was like, fuck, I gotta go. Like, I'm gonna miss this bus. I mean, luckily I made the bus on time. I couldn't film much in the hair salon, but let me tell you about this hair salon, okay? So I went to Kylie's Curls and Company. It's in Chicago. It was honestly the best experience I've ever had getting my hair cut. I don't know if my bar is in hell <laughs> for salons but i don't trust anybody to cut my hair because every time i've gotten my hair cut especially in its natural state it's always been fucked up they either cut too much off or they're rude and tell me like my hair is weird or just some shit and like first of all if i'm coming to get my hair i don't want to hear that i don't want to hear that my hair is unique and i know that but bitch maybe you just weren't trained and that's fine actually it's not fine this was honestly such a pleasant experience. I'm not gonna like name names because this is my first time going to the salon and I do wanna, you know, protect uh, the people there. I would like to continue to build a relationship with the stylist that I went to and, you know, hopefully she'll feel more comfortable getting on camera. She told me my hair was so fun and she loved my curls and that they were pretty. And I just like, it felt so good to hear that from a stylist. They're ten they just tend to be so judgmental. <laughs> And then when it came to cutting my hair, you know, she didn't stretch my strands. Like she like, she didn't stretch my strand and just start cutting. Like she just, you know, stretched it and then like saw the ends and she was like, okay, this is the go, you know, and just kind of like went curl by curl. And I was like, this technique is, it's giving, it's giving. It's, it's giving, you're taking your time, you care about my hair, all that. And then she was like, do you want, what do you want to do? You want to just keep most of your length? And I was like, yeah. She's like, yeah, we don't want to take off all your hard work. I was like, okay, yes. <laughs> and I just I just felt really listened to. Um, I told her all the products that I was using and I just showed you those. And she was like, you're doing a good job, which was so nice to hear. <laughs> She's like, you're doing a good job. I didn't like the way that it was like styled with just keeping the length. So we went a little bit shorter than I intended, but hey, I actually kind of like it. And I've gotten to a point where, you know, it is just hair and like I scheduled this appointment in like October or like early November and I have been just like mentally preparing myself because again I don't trust anybody with my hair but she just did such a really good job there was so much care that went into this haircut and I'm so so fucking grateful I'm so grateful some things that I do want to say is I think that like as it grows out and she did mention this like as it grows out it'll give me that shape that I need like well like this part right here I used to have the size of my hair shaved, so it's it's shorter than the rest of my hair. Not to mention, like, last year I had a candle lit and I leaned over it and then it just, you know, like, it just sizzled a little bit. Basically, just as it, like, grows out, you know, we're gonna just go in and, like, reshape it to get the shape that I want. So, I'm, I'm happy with where we are right now. Oh my God. And then, <laughs> I literally, I just got home because I went Christmas shopping to get some more gifts. I got something from Savora for myself. It's just some more Olaplex number six. And then I went to Sally's, but we'll be unlocking that in another video. I just got home because I left my, um, I was wrapping up gifts and then I was getting ready to come film this part of the video. And I realized that I left my camera stand at the salon and I was like, what the fuck? And I looked and they, they didn't close for another 15 minutes. So I called them and they said they didn't, they couldn't find it. And I was like, wait, I, but I know where I left it. I know where I left it. And they found it. So um, I ran down there and I went to go get it. And here we are. I've been stressed out and running around all day. I'm really glad that my haircut went well. It's really windy out here. So the wind was, it was tussling with my hair today. It really was. And it kind of messed it up, but I'm excited to do the next thing that I want to do to my hair and just wash it and like style it the way that I want to style it. I like the way that she styled it, but I just want to see what it looks like, you know, after the, after I've retouched it. Cause the wind did just kind of take out my curls, you know? So anyways, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you really liked the video, please go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. We love to talk about real shit on here. I mostly post 
ASMRs, you know, that are gonna be like fashion related. So like getting ready with me or like getting you ready, or I'll be doing uh, like chit chat, get ready with me, or just talking about like LGBTQ fashion. I think that you guys should wear whatever the fuck you want and that makes you happy. Cause I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna wear what makes me happy, but I'm here to help inspire people in our community in the LGBTQ community. And if you're not like, that's fine too. If you're just here for the fashion or whatever it is you're a part of my channel for, like that's cool too, you're welcome too. For my people, you know, in the queer community who are trying to find your style. I understand what it's like to be a part of the community and not see a lot of representation uh, as a plus size individual. I'm here to try to change that. It's really hard to find pieces or even like your aesthetic that works for you. So, I mean, you don't have to like everything that I wear, but you know, hopefully you find some little pieces or like little ideas that I um, bring to the table that you really like and you know, make it your own little, little spice, your own little thing. But um, with that being said, I do have a um, donations link in my bio in the description down below. If you guys want to donate, feel free to. It's going to go to enhancing the quality of my content. You don't have to donate, um, but I'm always going to encourage you to. They are welcomed and encouraged. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.